Hello, this video is going to teach you how to log into your Colorado Digital Learning Solutions classes. The first thing we need to do is go to www.coloradodls.org. Once you are at the website, you are going to click on this big green go to class arrow. Once you click on the green arrow, you are going to input your login credentials and select log in. So you can see this is the dashboard for Genius that students log into. And you can see my hypothetical student is enrolled in two different courses. The first thing I'll show you is that when you have new messages, you're going to see this red circle with a number inside it. That number correlates to how many new messages you have. So you can click right from here and get to your messages, or you can click over here on student messages. The other thing I'll show you is that if you click this course information link right here, it's going to take you to a page that describes the course, how many credits it's worth, and then your teacher's biography and contact information. You can also click right here and email your teacher as well. Going back to the main page, you can also click on your grade book right over here. And you can view those details of that grade book if there was, you know, if there's information there. So now that's available, you can also look at your activity, how much time you've spent in the course by clicking that link. You can filter it with a start and end date. You can filter it just to a course, a single course, and it gives you a breakdown of the last eight days automatically. Once we give you a transcript, you can click on view transcript and see your final score. If you click on student information right here, you can edit your picture. If we come into student messages, we can see this is how we can compose a message. To compose a message, you're going to click compose, and then you're just going to start typing your teacher's name. And your teacher's name will pop right up and you can select it and then give it a subject, give it your message and then click send and that'll send a message to your teacher. If you have not read your messages, you'll know that because there's not a read on. And you can also select all your messages and archive them as you read them. If we click on school calendar over here on the left, we can see due dates that correlate to our courses. So you can hover over those and see what they are and see them in your Genius calendar as well as in your Buzz calendar. You can see when your course starts and you can see when your course ends. And under Edit Account, you can't do much. If you click Contact Tech Support right here, this is going to be you submitting a ticket to technical support for things specifically related to technology. So a broken link or something like that. Otherwise, you should be communicating almost exclusively with your instructor. In order to launch your course, you're going to click Launch. And you'll select to use it as a student. And then here is your course. This is your course card. You have a calendar in here. You can also check your grades in here by clicking this key. You can work off of your to-do list. You can see any feedback or any grades that you've earned right here. And you can click on activities or the course card anywhere on it and come into your actual course content. So that is a brief overview of the Genius Dashboard and also a small amount of information on Buzz.